Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up um, Unity to use a Git repo. And in this instance, we're going to use GitHub. And my favored uh, location is a, is a self-hosted GitLab. But I'm just going to use it through GitHub. And I think there's a few little things that will just, if you're going to set up a Unity project and use version control, which you definitely should, uh, and though a lot of things will sort of suggest that you should use Unity's own built-in things, you can successfully use um, Git uh, version control and GitHub to do this. One of the, the obviously the biggest plus for this is that if you set this up in the right way, it really allows for seamless cross-platform development. So you can develop on Mac and Windows, uh, and you can use both platforms to develop uh, simultaneously without any kind of issues. If you just try and create a Unity project where you um, you know, zip up the folder, export it, and that kind of stuff. Lots of things just don't quite work because um, lots of files are included that aren't needed. But having said that, you've got to go through the right kind of steps to make sure that Unity and Git are working as well together as possible. So I'm going to go through that, put this on a little YouTube video. Hopefully, it'll make general sense uh, for everyone. So I'm going to be using uh, Unity. Git Kraken uh, and maybe a bit of VS code. I am a Git Kraken ambassador, so I will put a link in the description to my uh, referral thing as well. If you want to join and use the Git Kraken Pro, then you can, but obviously, uh, most of this stuff you should be able to do with um, the non pro version of Git Kraken, but we're going to start with a, the pro one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to start a local mm, actually let's start a hosted repo on github.com so I pick me I give my finger name uh, and so I'm going to call this uh, my unity git not got git and I'm going to select a location which for now is my desktop, okay? So I'm going to call it, I'm going to select there. Uh, I am going to add in uh, the Unity Git Ignore straight away, but we're going to edit that a little bit. And of course, I'm going to add in a license and my favorite one, always a GNU Efero general public license version for it. Make everything cool and usable by other people. That's always important. So I'm going to create repository and clone. So this has now created a, a local repository here and also cloned it to the uh, GitHub. So now we've got that, it's committed, it's got those few files in. Okay, so let's go and make some edits and I'll show you the files that we want to edit. So I'm going to go to VS Code and I'm going to say open. Uh, let's go open folder desktop my unity and I'm gonna open okay so here we go so I've got a git ignore file here which has got the standard stuff but we're gonna add some stuff to that and I'm gonna add another file now I've got those files pre-prepared in a folder on my desktop called git files and again I'll put uh, the link to this repo so you can get all these files so in the git files on the Mac what you'll see here is that I can't see uh, either of those files. So there's a really nif nifty shortcut, show hidden files on the Mac, which you can just use. Uh, so it's command, shift, full stop, or period. And then you can do that to turn it on and off, you see? It's quite cool. So I know that I wanna open both of these in VS Code. So I'm gonna do that here, just so I've got them open. And then I can use them. Uh, uh, and then I'm just gonna turn that off. So, okay, so if I go to my this folder here, git ignore, what you will notice is that at, there's some extra pieces in here. So I'm just going to copy all of this, go to my git ignore in the right place, and just select all and paste, and that adds a bunch of stuff in. And you'll see the difference. It's not a massive amount, but what you'll see here is it covers some of the standard Apple files 
which is good. Now one of them might have already been sent, so we're going to check that. Um, and a bunch of other things that appear in other places. So this is good for, uh, again, that cross uh, compatibility. So we've got some extra things there around Windows files, etc., etc. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to save that. And then the other one I'm going to create. So this is a Git attributes file, which predominantly looks at the large files. So there might be a bunch of large files that exist within your Unity project, of course, you know, whether it's 3D models, audio, you know, fonts, images, etc. And so we want Git to understand how to handle and deal with those. So we add in this file here. So I'm going to actually select all and copy that. And then I'm going to create a new folder, uh, sorry, a new file called Git Attributes. Okay, and then I'm going to paste those that into there and save. Okay, so the other thing to remember is that these two files must be at the top level of what, where your Unity project will be. So obviously we haven't done anything with Unity yet. So uh, I'm going to save that and just hide um, VS Code, and I'm just going to make the changes here and push those just for the sake of being everything up to date before we bring in the unity stuff so um, added git attributes and updated git ignore this is to better support cross platform version control Unity projects. Okay, so I'm going to stage all those changes and I'm going to push that. Attributes done. Okay, so that's been pushed up. Right, so now I'm going to launch Unity. So I'm using Unity Hub. Obviously, I think Unity Hub is the best way to use Unity because you can install multiple versions of different P uh, Unity uh, builds. I am going to stick with the latest release and so I'm going to create a new project and let's just keep it simple because we're not really going to be doing anything I'm going to call it 2D and I'm going to give this a name uh, called ENT uh, git so not the same and I'm going to save this onto my desktop select folder Unity git project name create Okay, so Unity will go through, do a bunch of stuff, and you'll see on my desktop here that I've now got this folder called Unity Git. If I open that up, you'll see a lot of stuff has started appearing in here. Unity will launch, and uh, you know I can start editing, doing whatever I want with Unity. I think that's done everything I need to do, so I'm just going to quit Unity. Okay, so we can now see I've got in this instance two folders on my desktop I've got the unity git which is the one I just created and I've got this folder called my unity git which is the one that is currently under a version control and includes those hidden files okay so what I then do is I'm going to pick all these things and I'm going to move them into the version control place and I'm going to throw away this folder and then I'm going to jump back to uh, Git Kraken, and you'll now see that a load of this stuff has been added. 23 plus files. So I'm going to say uh, added Unity project. Commit. Stage all those changes and commit, uh, and then I'm going to push. So I'm using some keyboard shortcuts there. The keyboard shortcut on the Mac. To do that stage and post the commit message is command shift return which i like uh, doing for ease right so that i've added that and i've pushed it i'm going to hide git kraken and i'm going to go to unity hub again and then what i'm going to do is click on this and it's going to complain oh it's not there right so obviously i've moved it so i can get rid of that from the list because it's somewhere else now and I can add and now I'm going to pick the right place which is my unity git click open 
and then open. Okay, so Unity's up and running. I can now start editing whatever I wanted to, but let me just show you something. If I go back to Git Kraken, you'll notice that nothing is moving along in here, yet the eagle eyed of you would have spotted that at the very least a temp file has been created, and that's because that git ignore is ignoring all those files that are not needed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to GitHub. Uh, GitHub.com. Okay, and then if I click on me, uh, 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 where's my repo? Uh, it's not me. Just go to me. Okay, it's better. Repos. So there we see that we've got my Unity Git. Click on that, and what you'll see in here. If we compare that to the un the folder on my desktop, is that file library logs packages and temp are not being uh, pushed up to the repo, which is exactly what you want. So now, if anyone else wants to get that repo, do things with it, then they will have none of the ex none of the files that relate to me running it specifically on a Mac. And they'll be able to run it on a Windows machine or anything that runs uh, Unity and work on it seamlessly uh, with me. So hopefully that's made some general sense uh, and you'll find that useful. So in the show description I will put a link to my Git Kraken Ambassador affiliation link so you can get Git Kraken and then if you want to go pro everyone gets uh, some uh, goodies. I get some stickers and t-shirts and I think you've like 10,000 or of you sign up I get uh, a Tesla car so feel free to get me a Tesla car or at least head me in that sl direction slowly and um, also I'll link to this repo in particular so that you can copy the git ignore and the git attributes folder I would suggest that you continue like I did to start with the git ignore unity um, default because that will always grab the latest version and then you can just add in that those extra lines by pasting in uh, the details from here. So hopefully that makes sense and makes it a bit easier for you to work on Unity projects using uh, Git and something like GitHub or GitLab.